What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I have the new setup from Spigen. Spigen makes a ton of accessories for phones and tablets and basically anything else. And they sent me over a bunch of chargers and some cables here as well. Uh, so let's talk about these. These two cables right here, this is USB-C to USB-C. This is gonna work for uh, the newer iPads and also Android devices and really any other device that can do USB-C. This specifically can charge up to 60 watts. So it charges pretty fast for you and it is USB PD power delivery on their USB-C to USB-C 2.0 cable and then we also have their essential m5 cable which is usb-c to lightning so it's going to be great for iphones basically it's one meter long 3.3 feet usb uh, pd power delivery uh, both of these cables i found them on amazon cost about 15 bucks so if you want to pick them up and then we also Look at that, I picked it up pretty nicely right there. I have their ArcStation Pros GAN, with uh, GAN technology, the GAN 352, 452, and 652. And you can see right below that it shows you what exactly how fast these can charge up to. 35 watts, 45 watts, and 65 watts. And um, overall, you know, when you, I'm gonna open these up in a minute. Pretty sick. The reason being is because they charge pretty fast, but they're also all dual charging. So let's take a closer look at these. Here's their iPhone cable. You can see the lightning on one end, USB-C on the other. It is a very nice thick cable and it can stand over 30,000 bends within the cable. So it's got a lot of durability. I like that it has this Velcro strap around it to keep it all tidied up if you need to. But you can see it looks fantastic in terms of the quality. Same thing with the USB-C to USB-C. Really nice quality, nice and thick. Um, it's got a really good quality to it. It's not, you know, just like a rubber feel to it. It's got almost like a fat, that fabric type feel to it. And the USB-C on both ends is great. It's got the same strap to keep it all tidied up. And we'll test these in just a moment. Here's a closer look at the three chargers. You got the 35 watt, the 45 watt, and the 65 watt. And there's not a huge difference between the 35 and the 45 both dual charging, and then the 65 watt, obviously there is a kind of a, almost a big difference versus the 35 watt, and then the 45 watts a little bit less obviously. But the GAN technology, basically what that means is that you're gonna get smaller chargers that work more efficient, and they don't get as warm as say a traditional, traditional charger, but they charge really, really fast up to the wattage that they're rated. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is if you charge two things on here, it'll charge one device at 25 watts and the other at 10 watts. So if you're gonna just dual charge, just remember, they won't fully charge both of them at 35 watts because it's not rated for that. It's only rated up to 35 watts for two devices. And the same will ring true for the 45 watt and the 65 watt. Uh, if you're charging two things at the same time, for instance, on the 45 watt, both of them are not gonna charge at 45 watt. It'll be split a little bit between the two and the same on the 65 watt. All right, so we'll start off with the 35 watt charger. Plug it in. I'll take the M5 cable, plug it in via USB-C. Grab my iPhone with the case on, just so you can see that it will work with cases. And there you go, charges it beautifully and it's gonna charge it as fast as an iPhone can do because it charges up to 35 watts. The other cool thing to remember is even though this is 35 watts, I can still plug in a second device via USB-C and charge it up because it is a dual charger. Plug in my Galaxy Z Fold 3, which has a really thick case. You can see that plugged in absolutely fine. It's charging the phone. And since it's only charging at 10 watts, for this one, you can see it's gonna take about an hour and 51 minutes while using it as a dual charger. And once I remove the iPhone from that charger, it goes down to an hour and 13 minutes for this 35 watt charger. This phone only charges at 25 watts. So I have the 45 watt charger plugged in. Here is the Galaxy Z Fold 3 plugged in, hour and 24 minutes, but it has two things plugged in. So you can see the power, even though it's because of the higher wattage, it's gonna charge faster with dual. We now have the 65 watt plugged in, both the iPhone and Galaxy phone, and this will charge at one hour, 12 minutes with both devices. So if you're gonna wanna charge multiple devices all the time, you're probably wanna, gonna wanna grab the 65 watt so you can get the most for your money. So if you wanna pick up the iPhone cable or the USB-C to USB-C cables or any of the chargers, I'll link everything down below. 
I love the Spigen stuff. I've said it before uh, in some previous videos. These are pretty much my go-to chargers that I have. I have a bunch of these all throughout my house. They work great. They're reliable. They last a long time. They charge fast. So what's not to like about them? Everything's linked down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.